Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about tree frogs. And not just any tree frogs, but poison dart frogs. And they come from the tropics of Central and South America. And these tree frogs are brightly colored. And the more color they have, the more poisonous the tree frogs are. So to get started, think about the tree frog. We'll look at the colors, look at the shapes, look at the lines that we're gonna use to create our tree frog today. So in this example, you can see the simple lines that we're gonna use to make our tree frog. So to get started, I have a nine by 12 piece of paper and I'm gonna start in the top of my paper to one side just a little bit and I'm going to draw a long skinny oval for the eyes. As you can see that it's not that long, but it's a nice oval. And now I'm gonna go slightly diagonal to the other side of my paper for my other eye. So my tree frog's head is bent just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go inside there and make a half of an oval for the eyeball for the tree frog. Okay. Now coming from the top of that oval, I'm gonna make a little curve line that comes into the middle on each eye. This is the top of the eye. And then I'm gonna connect those two with a nice curved line, a frowny face, and that's the top of the head. Now underneath, I'm gonna put in a little tiny mark. This is gonna be the underneath of the eye. And then from there, I'm gonna come out just a little bit with a diagonal line. This is gonna be the start of the mouth. And if you see my pencil there, I'm gonna curve a line Go up in the middle and back down to the other side. So my frog has a little bit of a smile to it. Now starting with the body, we'll come down. It looks like parentheses, one on each side. This is the underneath of the mouth. Then I'm gonna do an S curve to start the neck and the body for the frog. So I come out, curve back, and curve down. So it's an S curve. Then using a U-shaped line, I'm gonna finish the bottom of the belly of the frog and make sure it comes up to the other side of the tree frog's head, but leave a big gap there. We'll finish filling that in a little bit. Now go back to the left side of the frog. We're gonna start our first leg for the front of the frog. It's a nice little candy cane line, is the way I call it. And I'm gonna draw a second line. So I have two lines there that make the front leg. <clears throat> now to make the toes, I'm going to use three toes for the tree frog. And I come out with a nice little bumped line. You do it slowly. There you go. So we've got three little toes there. Now I'm going to make the back leg for the left side. So I'm going to do a curved line that comes back. Go behind the front leg. Then we'll put the crease in there. So it's like the leg is folded. Now the foot is gonna go behind the front leg. So here you gotta play with a little bit and just figure out where your toes should go. Go underneath, go behind, but make that sort of wavy toe line. Three toes again. Now on the right side, we'll do the same thing a little bit. I'm gonna come out with a line then I'm gonna turn it down, so it's like an upside down L. So this tree frog's legs kind of like it's turning a little bit. I'm gonna repeat that line underneath. So now there's two lines for that front leg. Bring the body back on up, attach. And then I'll do the back leg just like the other one. That nice curved line going underneath, put in the crease fold there for the leg. Now it's time for the toes. And this one, we're going to actually have the toes turning towards the body. So I'm going to draw two that are connected together here for the front. Then add the third toe behind. So I'm overlapping. And now this back foot, again, just kind of play with it and see where yours needs to go. Yours might be behind the leg a lot. It might be to the side of the leg. Just don't draw through the leg. And there we've got our tree frog. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now that we've got our tree frog drawn, let's think about the background. So we want our tree frog to be sitting somewhere. So in our example, you can see I have my tree frog on like a limb or a stick. So to do that, 
make sure the first line is behind all of your feet and legs so your frog is actually sitting on the tree log. And when you do the front line, make sure it's on underneath the feet. So you see I put a little branch on this one. And then I'm going to make some very large leaves because poisonous dart frogs are only about two inches big. So these are tiny frogs, so leaves can be big to show proportion and size. So now it's time to think about coloring. So I'm going to use pink dots and I'm going to use the color red to help color my body. You see I'm coloring pretty fast because I've sped up the video just a little bit so you won't have to watch me color such a long picture. So as you see I'm just putting my pink into my work. Now you can do yours in any kind of coloring. I'm using markers. You can use all crayons, you can use all color pencils, you can use a combination of both or all three depending on what kind of texture or design you want for your tree frog. As you can see, I'm coloring my toes pink also. I've got my colors going in there. So now I'm going to start coloring in some red. Oh, adding a few more pink lines there. Got one more coming from the mouth. So when you think about your tree frog, you want to think about a color combination that works for you. You may want to do a blue frog with black spots. You might want to do a yellow frog, a green frog, or combine them. Maybe you want to create a new frog and do a rainbow frog. So your tree frog can be any kind of coloring of your choice and if you see I'm coloring pretty fast again I'm going to worry about my lines in a little bit I will go back and trace all pencil lines with marker so they stand out with a black marker so they'll be visible so right now my lines are kind of disappearing when I'm doing my coloring so you can do that black line outline first with a marker and then color in or you can do it last I'm going to do mine last so I'm going to stop talking here and just let you watch me color and I'll be back in a few minutes to explain some more things. Okay, so now I'm going to take my black marker, and as you see, I'm tracing my pencil lines, and I'm making sure I'm feeling in that eye. That makes that frog just come alive there on the paper. And I'm going to trace all of my pencil lines that I drew first. So I'm going to trace them carefully, and this kind of helps bring your tree frog out from the background. You can see it a little bit better. Cleans up your work, cleans up your work. Now, if you want to outline with a different color, maybe you want to outline with just red, or you want to use maroon or something, whatever color your tree frog, maybe you want to outline your tree frog in blue and then color it in green. So your outline does not have to be in black. Okay, so I've got all my outline finished. Now I'm going to think about my coloring, my background. So I'm going to outline first with marker. You see, I've got my green marker for my leaves, my brown for my tree trunk, or my tree branch, I should say. And I'm going to do a little bit of color sketching with my marker just to add in a little bit of texture to my tree trunk. Maybe add some shadows underneath the tree frog's feet. You see, I'm doing that, just adding in a little bit of texture to my picture. But I'm going to go back with crayon and color in my leaves and my tree branch and my sky color. So I've got my crayons now, and I want to color in. So I'm speed coloring again, and away we go.
So I'm just about to finish up my picture, put in my blue sky. Now you might want to do a different sky in yours. You might want to have more leaves or you might want to do something totally different. But as you finish, just clean up everything. Make sure everything's completely filled in. Don't leave much white paper showing and you will have a beautiful tree frog drawing. Have a wonderful time creating a poisonous dart frog from South America.